In this video, we are going to take a look at Soul and Sons, a Nordhaven 86 that was designed by Jeff Leishman and was built in 2008 by South Coast Marine. At the time of making this video in August 2022, Soul and Sons is currently listed for sale, but we will discuss that later on in the video. I have not been able to get on board Soul and Sons to shoot my own footage, but Nordhaven.com have some excellent images of this fantastic explorer yacht that we can use to take a good look around this great vessel. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. We are almost at 20,000 subscribers. This Nordhaven 86 has a length of 26.39 meters, a beam of 7.32 meters, and a draft of 2.49 meters. Her hull was repainted in 2020. Soul and Sons is hull number three of the Nordhaven 86 Expedition motor yacht range. She is powered by twin Detroit MTU 600 horsepower engines. They give her a maximum speed of 11 knots and a cruising speed of nine knots. If you're happy to cruise along at her cruising speed, then this Nordhaven 86 has a range of over 4,000 nautical miles. She's also fitted with a 16, 40 and 50 kilowatt generator. And now let us take a look at Soul and Sun's interior and exterior spaces. Starting with her flybridge deck. The helm station on the flybridge has three Stid helm chairs duplicated yacht steering controls and navigation equipment. Behind the helm station is a large U-shaped seating area located amidships. Note also the grab rail around the outboard side of the seating. The flybridge also has a refrigerator and barbecue grill. Located between the stacks is a customized jacuzzi with a custom made cover. The teak deck flybridge also features a fiberglass hardtop with recessed lighting. Next we come to the bridge deck, where the vast master cabin with a private terrace is also located. Personally, I am a massive fan of this layout. In the large fully kitted pilot's house, two stid helm chairs provide comfort and unobstructed views. This vessel is built for serious long range cruising and the vast array of equipment on display here is a testament to this. A large U-shaped seating area with a high-low gloss teak table is just aft of the helm. On the starboard side of the pilot's house and moving aft, you enter the owner's private retreat. Here we find a king-size berth. A teak headboard, separate seating along with a large TV on the lift makes this private area quiet and comfortable. The owner's suite also benefits from a large head and dual sinks along with a huge shower. Large twin see-through double doors aft provide access to the private owner's teak deck. Next, let us head to the main deck. Access from the port side of the saloon or galley, you enter this stateroom with a single berth to starboard as well as a folding Pullman style berth above. This cabin is well suited as a guest or captain's cabin. A large ensuite head and shower can also be found here. This large stateroom features a queen size berth with ample storage, large drawers and hanging lockers. The stateroom also has a good size ensuite head and shower. Next we come to the galley. It is fitted with sizable double door, sub-zero fridges and freezers, including a cooktop, microwave, oven, dishwasher, garbage disposal, and trash compactor. Granite countertops are provided for food preparation. A large pantry is also offered, and the sliding privacy doors to the galley have frosted glass panels. As we enter the saloon area from the galley to starboard, there is a bar with a granite countertop, three bar stools, and an ice maker, along with two refrigerator drawers. The entire saloon and dining area features wood flooring throughout. There is a large electric powered opening bulkhead panel that separates the galley from the dining area. The large dining table with separate leaf inserts has comfortable seating for up to 10 people. 
Here it is shown in its eight person configuration. The saloon offers a vast and comfortable area to relax with fixed sofa seating to starboard, facing a TV lift that houses a 50 inch flat screen TV, in addition to the full audio and visual entertainment system. The large cockpit has fixed seating and a beautiful high gloss teak table. This area is perfect for outside entertaining with guests and family. The cockpit and lower side decks have half inch teak covering them. A curved stairwell leads up to the pilot's house deck and provides another access to the owner's cabin. There is also a barbecue located in a fiberglass housing. Aft access to the cockpit is provided by a Bessonzoni passerelle. And finally, let us take a look below deck where we find the laundry area, a further two guest cabins as well as the crew accommodation. Forward we find the laundry area as well as a washing machine, dryer, linen storage and a further berth. There is also an extra day head which could be used by additional crew or guests. Next we come to two large staterooms, mirrored port and starboard. This is the port stateroom. Both have king size berths along with their own ensuite head and showers. These staterooms are huge and together consume the full beam of the hull in this lower area. So and Son's separate crew quarters allow for four crew berths in two cabins, port and starboard, just aft of the engine room. There is also a large communal area for the crew to relax, cook and enjoy some well-deserved off-watch time and privacy. There is a small galley with a sink, microwave and stowage, as well as a seating area and table. On the forward deck we find a Nautica 20-foot tender with a 110 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke outboard motor and a double-seat jet ski. These are launched using the full-power Marquip hydraulic crane this has a lift capacity of three and a half thousand pounds. There is also room for more jet skis or another tender on this deck too. The aft pilot's house design allows the toys to be launched and recovered without inconveniencing guests using the cockpit areas. At the time of uploading this video, Soul & Sons is listed for sale with Nordhaven Brokerage. She is currently located in Mexico. If you'd like to find out more about this fantastic boat, then I'll leave a link in the video description. At the time of making this video, she is listed for sale for just under 5 million US dollars. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like so that more people on YouTube will get to see it. If you're heading to the Khan Yachting Festival in September, then let me know in the comments as well. I'll be going there and if you happen to see me bimbling around, then be sure to come over and say hello. If you have got access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then feel free to send me an email. I'll leave my email address in the video description. As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. If you'd like to become a channel member or find out more about how it works, then again, I'll leave a link in the video description or you can click on the join button that appears underneath the bottom right hand side of this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. And until next time, fair winds and following seas.